I'm just thinking, imagine if DC had tried to make a film like this back when they were doing Man of Steel and Batman vs Superman and everything like that and they tried to do it as a grim dark version. I just feel like something like that would have completely hit the wrong nose. With this new DCEU vibe happening after things like Aquaman and some other things that are coming up in the future like perhaps a new Suicide Squad, Maybe this Shazam movie is exactly what the DCEU needs as a change of pace. Only one way to find out, let's get into it! So Shazam, or as he's referred to in comic book canon, Captain Marvel, but you can't call him Captain Marvel anymore. That time has gone, so he's now just Shazam. So Shazam is a superhero who is actually a 14, 15 year old boy named Billy Batson, who is granted his superpowers by the wizard Shazam, who nominates him as champion for all that is good, and gives him the powers of five legendary gods and kings, Solomon, Achilles, Hercules, Mercury, and Zeus. And as such, every time he says the word Shazam, he is transformed into a grown-up superhero and has all of these powers. But this also means that he retains his mind of a 15-year-old boy. So essentially, this then becomes a film that's kind of like Big meets Superman. And it's kind of a coming of age story as well because Billy Batson is put into a foster home and he's essentially a good kid with a good heart but he's seen the ugly side of the world. He's gone from foster home to foster home and he's kind of trying to find his place in the world. Has a little bit of a little bit of an attitude, a little bit of a chip on his shoulder. And he utilizes these powers in maybe some ways that you would or would not expect a teenager to do so given that he can now basically become an adult with superpowers anytime he wants. This is almost exactly the kind of film that I expected this film to be. It didn't exactly surprise me in any particular way. It had the exact kind of humour that I thought it would, especially after seeing some of the trailers. But at the same time, it really entertained me. It was humorous, it was fun, it had action, it had all of the kind of things that I would expect to see in a film like this that is, again, essentially Big meets Superman. And it's just inventive enough to shake things up for the DC films. And it's something really new that you didn't expect DC to kind of come out with. And a lot of this, I do have to say, is props to Zachary Levi, because he's got that charisma and that charm and that kind of like childlike vigor that brings his character to life in this film. So he plays the adult version of Billy Batson really well and he does these kind of like childlike mannerisms and attitudes and ways of saying things that really make you believe his character. Mark Strong, as always, makes a really, really good villain. What I will say though is that he's played a villain so many times now and he's so good at it that you kind of almost don't notice how good he is. He's the very typical villain in this film and I can see why they've used Mark Strong as Dr. Savannah for this villain so that it doesn't eclipse the performance that Zachary Levi is giving as Shazam. So yeah, The Rock kind of got screwed out of his role in this film because they do mention him in passing, but he doesn't appear at any other point in the film. And now that Suicide Squad isn't getting a sequel, but it's just getting a straight reboot by James Gunn, I don't know if they're going to include Black Adam in that film anymore. So in a way, it kind of makes sense that they didn't use The Rock as Black Adam in this film because The Rock would have just completely eclipsed Zachary Levi's performance as Billy Batson. So, is he still going to get to play his role? I don't know. We'll have to find out. What I will say is, towards the end of this film, without giving too much away, they did start to cover a lot of ground 
from the source material. It was very much like what they did with Aquaman, so I definitely got that sense that DC have been a little bit unsure about whether they're going to make more films and more follow-ups to these properties that they're releasing at the moment. So they just decided, well, let's just throw everything we can into this film, make it as entertaining as possible, cover as much ground as possible, because we don't know if we're going to be able to make more after this. And it's not necessarily a bad thing, it's just that towards the end, you feel like, okay, they're overwhelming a lot of stuff here, bringing in a lot of extra things, and you kind of don't know where they're going to take it after this film. Overall though, Shazam was pretty surprising. It's one of DC's brightest and funniest and most entertaining films that they've had. It goes completely against their original grimdark kind of gritty style. And it shows that DC can do this range of characters. They can have the fun ones. They can have the dark ones. They can have the ones that are kind of in the middle. But what it shows is that they can have this range and it still works for them. So with that in mind, Shazam gets three and a half stars from me. I really enjoyed seeing this new style of film come out from DC. I hope they do more films like Shazam. I hope they kind of keep this going. I hope Zachary Levi gets to do more with this character, because I would definitely watch another one of these. So Shazam, have you seen it? What did you think of it? Would you watch another Shazam movie? Would you watch more in this kind of style of filmmaking from DC? And are you eager to see The Rock as Black Adam get brought into the continuity? All comments are welcome in the comment section below. Let's talk nerdy. As always, if you've enjoyed what you've seen here and you would like to see more, you can click right here to subscribe and see some more funky fresh videos from yours truly. And until that point, it's worth a go. Shazam! Ah, still got to pay adult prices. Ridiculous. Well, at least I can still see 18 rated films.